Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you a concealed ducted mini split system that a customer of mine installed. I think he did a really awesome job and I just thought you guys might be interested in checking it out. So here we go. So this is the fully functional mini split that we're about to show you. Um, this past summer we moved these units. Um, they added on this basement here and these units used to be right here. So we extended the line set that way, reattached these units and they're good to go but I specifically wanted to show you this unit. So this is an 18,000 BTU ACIQ hyperheat mini split system. Uh, they send the labels separately for whatever reason, and I don't think he put the label on there yet, but this is his install. So we have the bracket there. Uh, we have it hanging over this doorway. There's actually a drain down here. Um, so it works out perfectly by those French doors. Uh, we have the conduit going to the disconnect. And as you can see, we just have the lines running into the wall there. Now I want to show you the inside portion, which is super cool. Um, I had never seen these installed and I've never done one myself, but I wanted to show you how this turned out and how it's functioning right now. As you can hear, this unit is very quiet. I don't have to talk over it. It basically just sounds like a fan running. So as we go down into the stairwell here, you can see we have a drain and these units will condensate right there in the defrost mode. So if you're doing something similar, just make sure you have an appropriate space for drainage there. So as you can see, this basement is unfinished, but I wanted to show you this before sheetrock goes up. So this is unit number one. We have the return here, a very easily uh, removable screen that we can take out and clean and put back in just like any other mini split. Now the beauty of this concealed unit is you can move this return to here. As we're gonna show you right here, there's the return on the bottom. So you can actually mount this up onto the ceiling. So this is the return air. And then we have ducts going uh, two ducts for this unit. And they're just a four inch duct. We've got nice hot air coming out of this. And we could spray this black just so that you can't see that once this is fully finished. And then right here we have a pump that will actually pump this water up and out if you can't simply go out of the exterior and down. Um, this is highly valuable when you're in a basement like this scenario. So this is going to pump that water up and to a washer drain that's on the other side of the basement. Now we also have this unit that will actually be mounted somewhere on the wall. This has the sensor here, it shows the temperature and what operation so if it's not running you can show that it's in defrost mode if there's an issue this will light up so that will be mounted somewhere like that and as you can see this above this nook there's a fireplace upstairs so this worked out really nice to put this concealed and it'll be a really nice finished look here now moving on here to unit number two same thing except as you can see we have the return on the bottom side so when this is sheetrocked it's going to be level with this return duct here and all you'll see is this return grate and this will be mounted up like this and then as you can see we've got three um, four inch flexes running from this guy really nice airflow perfect for this space um, this basement is probably only 600 square feet so a four inch duct is going to be perfect for this and then we have our pump here that's going to pump that condensate water into the same drain as the other unit to this washer and dryer here as you can see these units are extremely quiet um, you can't even really hear much going on with these as you can see the mounting of this is very basic so you can just go into a stud or in this instance he just put some plywood there and mounted it to that um, if you were putting this in an attic, it would also be really easy. You just set it in place, make your connections, and run your ductwork. So really excited to see what this finished product looks like. I might do a separate video that shows the finished product and how this functions and how it looks. But I just thought you guys might be interested in checking out how these are mounted and how they work. Again, this is an ACIQ product. This product, as well as many other configurations of ACIQ products, can be found on HVACdirect.com. HVAC Direct also has a really nice sizing guide, so if you have an unfinished basement or just a portion of your home that you want to convert to a mini split, you can determine how many BTUs you need for that space in heating and cooling, and it takes a lot of the brain work out of that. 
make sure to use my link in the video description and use my discount code where you can get an additional 3% off of your order from HVAC Direct. Now, if you wanna see a full installation video of the AC IQ condenser at my home, where we converted it to a dual fuel system, so we have a gas furnace and a heat pump in case the gas furnace ever goes out, I can run my heat pump during the event of an emergency. You can find that video right here. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.